Hello everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, I'll discuss about a very important concept in physics that basically change the communication system we are using today. We'll discuss about Maxwell's displacement current. Basically, this is a modified law of your Ampere circuital theory. This theory tells us that that a bearing electric field also can generate the magnetic field. Before this theory that is uh, given by Maxwell, we have the theory of Faraday that a bearing magnetic field can create a EMF or can create an induced uh, current. So, we have the Faraday's law that we write your E dot DL equal to minus D phi B by DT. That is the change of flux or varying magnetic field can create one EMF in or generate electric field your current and your Ampere's law this is your from Faraday's law and Ampere's law was that a magnetic field will be generated that is B dot DL you can say is mu naught I enclosed. So this was your Ampere's law and this was your Faraday's law. So the question was that yes if a current is flowing a magnetic field will be generated that we got. Now if a change in magnetic field is there or a varying magnetic field is there, a magnetic field is changing. Let's say I am moving a bar magnet towards a coil. So here I am varying the magnetic field, I am changing the magnetic field basically, so there will be an induced EMF. But the concept that if I will vary an electric field, it will induce a magnetic field or not it will create a magnetic field or not there is no such theory so maxwell's this displacement current when he uh, discovered means uh, uh, got the idea then he modified this law ampere's law and he tried to basically unify your electric and magnetic field so this theory tells us that your electromagnetic waves carry some energy we will calculate the pointing vector in the next uh, video and uh, we got the idea of an electromagnetic spectrum the light is also electromagnetic wave electric and magnetic component magnetic uh, uh, electric wave your field and magnetic field they move together uh, perpendicular to each other in an electromagnetic way. So, from this uh, idea of your Ampere's law, we will modify it and what uh, basically Maxwell has done and we will get the idea of a displacement current. Basically, here, here we will uh, get that there is no such displacement, but we will name the name is like that. It is a displacement current. So, we will find out the displacement current. So, we will start our discussion, uh, let us say considering a varying electric field we will find out. So, we can think of a charging a capacitor, if we will consider, let us say this is, these are the two uh, parallel plates uh, capacitor, these are two plates and this is the gap in between two plates of the capacitor. Now, conductors are connected, so the charge will come, right? And current as the current is flowing the charge will be accumulated over the surface area of this plate now 
the field is there electric field will be there in between two parallel plate capacitor now due to this electric field if a charging is there charging process of charging so the current will change gradually so that the uh, charge accumulation of charge on the plate will uh, increase uh, gradually in the charging process so it's a changing it, it will, it's a changing so that the electric field in between also will create a varying electric field now due to this varying electric field experimentally also it's verified that if you will uh, try to test that whether it is creating a magnetic field or not then also it is verified that yes it is creating a magnetic field here the current is there due to the current there will be magnetic field but in between the plates there is no current so enclosed current is zero so it should be zero from your ampere's law so ampere's law is failing here maxwell they basically argued that maxwell law will fail here electric field is there but still we are getting a magnetic field a bearing uh, electric field is there in between the two parallel plate capacitor so let's say these are two plates of uh, capacitor and we are charging we are providing i so that uh, let's say charges are accumulated q amount of charges are accumulated over the uh, surface or the surface of the your uh, plates now there will be electric field varying electric field if charging then there will be varying electric field and uh, the concept is that if there is a varying electric field so we are supposed to get some magnetic field as we are getting so b dot dl will get uh, something epsilon naught your because change in electric field so your flux will basically link if a area is there so d phi by d phi e dt so rate of change of electric flux or you can say varying electric field is producing a magnetic field also so basically we will modify this your ampere's law and will add this term and we will see that this is a dimension of current with this is a dimension of current how you can see because we know that your from uh, your we know that phi e electric field flux basically e into a or e dot a right so e electric field in between the parallel plate capacitor we know that that it will be electric field in between the parallel plate capacitor is sigma by epsilon naught plus sigma by epsilon naught that is basically 2 sigma by or 2 sigma by epsilon naught 2 sigma by epsilon naught it is basically uh, your this is sigma is q upon a this is your also q upon a so result will come up as q by epsilon naught a right so q by epsilon naught a is the uh, q this is q by a sigma is basically q upon a this is also q by a so it will be 2 2 times right it will be 2 times 1 upon uh, sigma by 2 epsilon naught is the electric field due to a parallel plate and uh, here negative so also you will get so same direction electric field so we will add add up and you will get q upon 2 uh, epsilon naught a right and uh, outside the plate it is uh, this direction it, due to negative plate it is this direction they will cancel each other similar thing will happen so outside the parallel plate capacitor the electric field is zero inside it it is q by epsilon naught a so if i multiply what will be the flux linked with a area inside the uh, capacitor if i'll write then it will be q upon epsilon naught a into a which is q upon q upon epsilon naught now phi is q upon epsilon naught so d phi e upon dt that is the rate of change of flux will be d by dt of q 1 by epsilon naught constant will come outside of the different outside so dq by dt is basically the 
uh, dimension of uh, your current and that is this q is the exactly the charges deposited over the uh, plates so dq by dt is basically this i it will give and um, if we multiply a epsilon naught with this one so epsilon naught basically epsilon naught into d phi e dt that is the change in flux of electric field is equal to so you will multiply this one so basically this is i right dq by dt is i so this is one upon epsilon naught i so if you multiply epsilon naught it will give a dimension of r basically this is named as id this is your displacement current this is your displacement current that current is generated due to the varying electric field so this displacement current if your surface if any closed surface which is having some conduction current and also varying electric field so it will have both it will it will have both the current i let's say we will name it ic conduction current and also it will have id so your ampere's law this current will be modified ic plus id if a surface enclosed if the surface having uh, surface is closed closed surface and uh, it's uh, including your conduction current as well as electric field as well as electric field so it will include both and ampere's law would be modified as your ampere maxwell law so this is what your maxwell suggested in uh, then, uh, 1884 around 1884 and then horchkamp and uh, he showed uh, experimentally that uh, radio waves exist and this uh, uh, electric and magnetic field they move together then Marconi come and the radio and all these things are developed so this is ampere maxwell law or modified ampere's law also some book right this is uh, ampere maxwell law so this law is your bdl this is our closed surface this closed integral bdl bdl equal to this mu naught i enclosed will be modified at mu zero i your conduction plus i d when again i am saying if a surface is having let's say the surface is like this it is closing it's a surface which is uh, containing both conduction current and field then this law will be applicable ic plus id will come up that will create your magnetic field not only the current but also the varying magnetic field also will come up so you can you can write this is mu zero and uh, ic plus id you can write that is uh, mu naught mu naught epsilon naught d phi e that is your varying electric field so this is your integration bdl very important law now uh, if a, a, for a surface there is no conduction current there is no conduction current let's say for electromagnetic wave or electric uh, field and magnetic field is there only or it is creating a only uh, your varying electric field and magnetic field is there so uh, in that case your ic that is if there is no um, your conduction current in a space let's say only field is there so in that case only uh, your magnetic field will be generated or the magnetic field will be mu naught epsilon naught d5 e by dt this one will be zero similarly if there is no electric field only a conductor is there and current is there there is no electric field in that space so the magnetic field will be generated mu zero ic phi e will be zero because flux electric no electric field phi your e will be zero and your uh, d phi e by dt will become zero so this one will become ampere's law 
So you should, when you will solve uh, numericals in uh, different different competitive exam, you should keep in your mind that this is for field. If there is no field in a uh, closed surface, so you will remove this term. Only this term will be there, which is Ampere's law. If in a surface there is no current is there, conduction current is there. Only if a field is there, so your magnetic field that will come up with bearing electric field only. So d phi by d phi dt so this one is called maxwell's uh, induction law also so for ic0 for ic0 you can write b dot dl is uh, mu naught epsilon naught d phi e by dt this is basically your maxwell's induction law or the reverse law of your faraday's law faraday's law tells us bearing magnetic field creates your induced uh, emf here it's bearing electric field or induces the magnetic field so your maxwell's law of induction so this is maxwell law of induction and basically this is very important and unified electric and magnetic field this law that from bearing electric field we can come uh, get magnetic field Mag bearing magnetic field we can get electric uh, uh, emf so this is the reverse process and uh, the uni this unified law exactly uh, change the um, your communication system and uh, all this uh, new uh, technology and uh, modern uh, science comes up uh, communication system comes up with this discovery so this is uh, maxwell law of uh, induction and uh, so what are the basically maxwell's four laws if you want to uh, i want to write so you should uh, uh, know that uh, this is these are the maxwell's law and basically these are the laws by gauss and faraday these are all together four laws are called maxwell's equations so first uh, equation if i'll write this is from gauss law of electrostatics that is your for a closed surface uh, your e dot ds basically e dot ds is uh, your q inside q enclosed by epsilon naught and the second law is uh, basically uh, b dot ds that is uh, basically the magnetic monopoles which does not exist uh, it is for that so b dot ds uh, the, in an enclosed surface it's a zero because monopoles do not exist or uh, so this is um, third law third law is basically the faraday's law this is maxwell's third law it's called e dot dl or ds also you can write so e dot uh, dl equal to this is your minus d phi by dt and the fourth law of course that we got is ampere's maxwell law that is your e dot bl dl so uh, again i am saying that uh, you should remember if field and current conduction current both are there this is the law if something is missing then only one part will be there so e dot dl is uh, basically your mu naught so this is mu naught is the uh, permeability in free space basically so mu naught ic plus mu naught epsilon naught d phi e by dt so this is all about your maxwell's uh, laws in the next class next video i'll discuss about your your that uh, energy pointing vector and energy and also we'll go to the electromagnetic waves in the next videos so thank you for watching the video. See you in another. Bye-bye.